Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am going to film what to eat on the ketogenic diet today, a full day of eating. So I have a fun day planned. We are taking the kids to see a movie. So um, I might film some snippets of that and we're going to eat lunch out and about and I'm not sure really what else. Um, I'm, we, we've only got three eggs left in the house so I'm going to be having an interesting breakfast. There's three eggs to split between myself and my husband so gonna have to get creative because we usually just have eggs for breakfast but somehow I've let ourselves get down to three eggs Ugh. so <laughs> I'm gonna have some fun we'll see in a sec what I get up to um, and make sure if you're not already subscribed to my channel you subscribe and join the yummy inspirations community I am on the low carb keto diet so all videos are low carb keto friendly I share videos like this what I eat in a day and I share meal ideas recipes and grocery hauls, all kinds of things about the low carb keto diet, so make sure you subscribe and join the community. Um, and we'll just get on and make our interesting breakfast. <laughs> they say never work with children or animals. My children are in the background watching TV, making noise, don't mind them. And my cat is here walking around, <laughs> sniffing all of my ingredients and rubbing everything. You see her little Chester? Um, so I have decided to make a smoothie a shake as to kind of round out our breakfast because we're just going to have a teeny portion of scrambled eggs each. I'm going to make my famous cheesy scrambled eggs. I make so much, I talk about so much and that's just what we feel like, just what it's just easy to go to. Um, and the recipe for the shake is actually in my newly launched ebook. I've got an ebook with dozens of low carb smoothies and shake recipes. It's just gone live on Amazon. I'll leave the link down below. It's only a couple of dollars and it has been so much fun creating it and I love all of the recipes in and I hope that you will like them too. I will leave a link see the cat paws I will leave a link down below so that you can check that out on Amazon and if you don't have a Kindle you can still get the ebook and read it on your um, iPad your computer your device any other device I'll leave a link to a free reading app that you can use for that I'm just tickling him am I just encouraging this behavior <laughs> he's he's so happy okay he's absolutely just ruining my set Chester so I'm going to get on and make my smoothie and um, just breakfast and I'll talk you through it. So yeah, I completely neglected to go through the ingredients with you, didn't I? Okay, you've got almond milk, you can use your milk of choice. Thicken cream, you can use double cream, whip, whipping cream, this is what we get in Australia. Um, just, it's cream, use your cream of choice, whichever cream you use and you have in your fridge on a daily basis. Don't go out and buy something specially, use what you got. Um, we've got cacao powder, <laughs> stevia, and coconut milk, canned coconut milk. Make sure it's good, full fat, premium coconut milk that you're using. And um, I will leave a link also down below to a blog post where I will give the recipe for this. So um, I'll just pop it all together and show you as I go. Right, I am going to make this for myself and my husband, so I'm going to make double the recipe that is in the book. So a cup of milk is going in, half a cup per person. It's going to be a, a half a cup of cream, well a quarter of a cup of cream per person. Yep, this is good. High fat dish. And now we've got to somehow open this coconut milk and get a half a cup of coconut milk out. As if the cat hasn't been going crazy enough, I went and opened up the coconut milk and he thought it was a can of cat food, which it is not. So I'm adding in a quarter of a cup per person of the coconut milk. Oh, it makes it so rich and creamy and delicious. Okay, trying to keep it clean. And we've got some, I've got, I use stevia, use your sweetener of choice. I'm making such a mess here. Okay, we just need to put the cacao powder and the sweetener in. We've got a half a tablespoon of cacao powder per person going in. Get this open. This has lasted so well. I know it's not a cheap ingredient, cacao powder, but you use it in such small amounts. Oh, it makes it so chocolatey. And yes, chocolate for breakfast because why not? I love the packaging of it. It's so pretty, isn't it? And sweetener, I'm just going to add... Oh, a teaspoon of sweetener per person to make it nice 
and sweet. Mine's got a little scoop in, so we're going to do, it's got a half a teaspoon scoop, so you're just going to do four of those. So a teaspoon or less or more to taste. All right. Oh, I should probably move all that out the way. Let's get you looking at the blender. Excuse all of the mess in the background. If you don't know, I am a homeschooling mama and of my two kids, and so we've got homeschooling stuff everywhere. Okay, let blend this baby up for a little yummy shake. <laughs> done oh, nice and quiet okay that is done you could scrape down the sides if you want to but that is part one of my breakfast I'm gonna enjoy oh, I'm gonna enjoy this shake while I get on and make my eggs and there are my cheesy scrambled eggs it might not look like much but it is amazing they are just cheesy full of rich goodness um, I'll leave a link down below to a full video tutorial of how to make these it's so easy and so delicious so check that link out to make my cheesy scrambled eggs and we can have breakfast and get ready and race out to the movies the movie is done oh it was amazing Look at this, that we're in Chadston now. We're gonna go and get a burger, but I just had to show you inside here. Beautiful center. Oh, that movie was lovely. Time for lunch. Burgers, should we go have burgers for lunch? So, what did you think of the movie scene? Good, what did you think? Did you enjoy it? Did you make you want to go out and sing and dance? Yeah, lots of singing. Lots of singing. Yeah, I know. It was really enjoyable, wasn't it? And now are you excited for burgers for lunch? Yeah. Yeah. Hungry. We're hungry. And you know, I just had to go the bunless burger. Look at that gorgeous double burger. Two buns, a whole lot of cheese. Pop it between the lettuce sleeves. And you've got a burger. Look at that. There he is in there. So I'm going to get on and have my lunch and I will catch up with you the next time I have something to eat. We had a lovely outing out. That movie sing was just beautiful. Great for the kids and grown-ups. It was awesome. And then the burger, so filling. But it is mid-afternoon and I've been doing a bit of activity this, through the, the afternoon. So I feel like a snack and this is what I'm having. I've got some frozen raspberries underneath there. A big generous drizzling of cream and some chia seeds. It's just going to be a bit of a, I'm just going to mush it all together and it'll be a nice icy treat on this hot Melbourne day and I will catch up with you when I have dinner. This is the beginning of my dinner preparation. I've got a corned beef silver side. We call it silver side. You may call it corned beef. It's just a big one and a half kilo piece of meat. Now I know I had a burger for lunch. I do try and avoid having meat twice a day, but I need this meat for lunches for the next few days. So we are having it for dinner. I would usually have something veggie after having a meaty lunch, but that is what's happening today. And I am flexible and just kind of do whatever. So I've got some garlic in there for flavor, a bit of apple cider vinegar, some salt. I'm gonna bring this up to the boil and then it cook, it's about one and a half kilos. So I'm going to let it cook for one and a half hours and then let it cool down because it is quite hot today. So I want a coolish dinner. So once this is cooked, I'll let it cool and then I will show it to you when it is all plated up. And this is my lovely dinner. I've got that corned beef silver side. It looks so yum. Can't wait to get into it. I've got a bit of spinach underneath, a whole lot of avocado and cucumber, just loads of greens to finish off my day. So that is what I eat in a day of ketogenic diet eating. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like the video, I'd really appreciate if you'd leave a thumbs up, leave us a like and subscribe. I am on the low carb ketogenic diet and all the videos you watch on this channel are low carb keto friendly. So join the community and hit that subscribe button. Love to have you a part of the family and thanks so much for watching and leave a comment and let me know what else you would like me to film around the low carb keto way of eating i am happy to film anything that you'd like any meals or recipes or 
chats, any questions, anything, leave the comment down below and I'll be happy to film it for you. Otherwise, we will see you again soon. Bye.